What's up guys, Silver here with another Halo Infinite Achievement Guide. This time we're doing Conservation of Momentum, which is complete the conservatory in less than 15 minutes. So start up the mission of the conservatory. You could do this on any difficulty, so I recommend doing it on easy. You could throw on bandana if you'd like, but it's going to be irrelevant because I'm going to use the scorpion gun. Although I actually take that back. Throw on bandana, it will help you because it makes your cooldowns instantaneous as well. In addition to having infinite ammo and grenades, the equipment that you use cools down instantly so you can instantly reuse it so it'll make you be able to grapple shot through the mission a lot faster as well so throw that on i don't have it on here so you'll actually be able to do this faster than me and the tank gun isn't 100 percent necessary because you're going to run past most of these enemies on easy but it is nice to have for a couple of the parts of this mission where you actually have to hold out and kill some enemies if you do decide that you want to get the tank gun and you don't have it at the current moment uh, you want to get it before you go into the conservatory. You could always pull up your TAC map or your mini map, whatever it's called. Go to Outpost Harmonious towards the top left of the map. And then load that mission, restart that mission or replay it, whatever it is. And then you will be able to go to the beginning of that mission and play through it. It's a quick mission. Once you open up the big door that lets you outside, you want to go towards the right in this direction. Follow this path. There's a crashed ship over here and there are two turrets on top of it. We want to grapple up there and we want to go to the second turret. The one that's further away from us from the start. Here we are at the crashed ship, so we're going to grapple up on top of it, and we want to go to that second turret, so you can see if we go to the first turret and stand on the tip of the gun, it will not give us the option to switch for any weapons, but if we do that on the second gun, if we go to the tip of the gun over here, we will be able to pick up the tank gun, which is what we want. So now at this point, you could go and resume your conservatory run. You'll start from the beginning, obviously. But pull up the tack map, the mini map, and then go start the conservatory again. And you'll start it with the tank gun, which will make it a little easier for those couple spots where you got to actually kill some enemies. Now that I've shown you how to get the tank gun, if you do want to use the tank gun, we are back here in our conservatory run. And there's not much really here to say in addition, other than you want to just run past all these enemies. I'll let the video of my full run play out so you can see exactly what I did. But you could deviate from this path pretty significantly. There's nothing special about the route that I took. It's simply easy to just sprint past and grapple past all of these enemies, with the exception of a couple spots in here where you actually have to clear out the room. The majority of these rooms you could just sprint past, but for the few that you do actually need to clear out the enemies, I will rejoin you. Otherwise, enjoy this commentaryless run of sprinting past easy enemies. And as I say that, I guess I should comment on this room and another room that's similar to it up ahead. This room is one of the rooms where you have to grab the power seed. This one's right in the middle of the map here. And then you just got to go plug it into the far side in the middle here. And we're just going to run through this door. There's another room up ahead that has the same setup. You got to do the same thing, but there's two power seeds that you have to place instead of just one. So you could always hit the scan button to scan the uh, room for where the power seeds are. You can see we're actually in it already. I am rambling long enough for us to actually get to that room. So you can see you don't have to clear out the enemies at all. You might want to clear out some of them just so it's kind of not as hectic while you're doing this because you're going to see in a little bit that I'm going to get pretty low on shield here. But, you know, it's pretty good for uh, not killing anybody and there being like two dozen people in here trying to kill me. So definitely doable to not kill any enemies in this section, but it probably will just kind of ease your nerves and make it easier if you clear out, you know, a handful of them at least. And with that, now I will stop talking and I will see you for the first room where we got to hold out and kill a bunch of waves of enemies. What were those flying things? No. Dangerous. And despondent pyre? No. Potentially dangerous. See, you can be optimistic. Close to the bottom. Wait, listen. Please do not do this. It cannot happen. It is wrong. Must not be compromised. 
You do not understand what you are. What you are. What compromise means. Relinquish to you the location. The endless can never return. We are blameless. The forerunner set this in motion. I am ending it. Oh no, we're too late. Something awful happened here. Plug me in. We'll figure this out. It must be done. And we are back. This is the room where you have to hold out and kill a bunch of skimmers, the new enemy that's introduced here. And there are going to be some reinforcements uh, from the Banished as well. There's some Brutes and some other lower enemies that spawn in here. So just keep your eye out for those enemies spawning around you on the ground level. And then also for the skimmers that just pour in from the ceiling as well. Those are kind of the main focus of the encounter here is this new enemy type. But since we have the tank gun, we're just going to blast them as they reach the floor and then kill all the reinforcements that come out of the doors uh, kind of surrounding this room. And just to verify, if you didn't know or you just had a feeling that this is happening, the tank gun actually does not deal any damage to the player. So even though you're blowing up enemies right in front of you, you would think splash damage should come back and hurt you, but it does not. So you could kill enemies right in front of you with this thing. And with that, I will leave you to it. The only tip in this is pretty much to kind of walk around the room if you're finding that more enemies aren't spawning in. Sometimes there's like one enemy who gets stuck somewhere on the perimeter of the room and that enemy remaining alive may be preventing the fight from progressing. Enemy reinforcements. The door. I know, the code is being rewritten, altered using a forerunner routine. When I interfaced with the cradle, it unlocked something. Something important. Cortana was here six months ago. I could feel what she felt when you arrived. It was joy, fear, and pain. We've got a score to settle. And this room that we're about to enter is the final room. There are two chieftains in here that have their big turrets that they're lugging around. So we need to kill those guys. And then the elevator will come down and we'll hop on. It'll take us up and we will end the mission. So with a tank gun, it's easy enough. They take one to two shots with this thing. And uh, you could dispense of them pretty quickly and pretty easily. So we'll just wait for this elevator to come back down now. We'll hop on, we'll head up, and that will be the end of the mission. At least in regards to enemies, we have to fight or run past. You don't want to put your controller down just yet. You want to make sure you activate this vertical gondola. Once you do, you can put your controller down because the achievement actually pops a little bit before the mission ends. Uh, you go up here and there's a load zone and it kind of fades out and it seems like it's the end of the mission, but there's still a little bit more. But it's pretty much just a cutscene that remains, so the achievement just pops for you before that even happens. Any second now, there it is. It popped for us. That is all there is to it. Pretty straightforward for this one. I will catch you for the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, be sure to click on the scorpion icon to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. You can also check out some related guides by clicking on the videos on screen, and you can find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Halo guides, and I'll see you in the next one.